Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a little get ready with me, talking about all the things, what's coming in the new year, how I got here, and getting to know a little bit about me. I wanted you guys to feel connected with me and get to know my journey and how I got here. So I'm doing this makeup look right here. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Hi mom. Okay, we're ready. Cool. Start with my sunscreen I do not do my makeup without this and I'm currently obsessed with the La Roche Posay um, broad, broad spectrum SPF 60 uh, this stuff is so good and honestly whenever well for me I really like a sunscreen that feels like water and this is like a water water based um, SPF like you can just feel it's very light and it blends really well and sometimes so I already have a base of moisturizer I use the daily moisturizer by CeraVe but um, sometimes I maybe won't even use moisturizer because this acts like as a moisturizer okay, I need to get my hair out of the way all right I'm gonna get my hair out of the way with these little clips um, that I got from Amazon these are really great and um, also anything that I use I'm, I am gonna link it below so if you guys want to purchase anything you guys can find it there okay so um, let me put a little bit more so I can't really put that much and yeah a little bit does go a long way so and like you see there's it just looks like nothing but it really leaves just like a shiny, like soft, moisturized feel to my face, which is really nice. Um, I started using SPF, which I actually, not good, but I haven't been using it for that long. Um, I started using it most recently because I'm trying to get rid or, you know, help my dark spots that I have from, you know, acne that I've struggled with. So obviously SPF is really good for that, you know, protect your skin, it helps from those dark spots getting even darker. I do really struggle with acne so I use um, a lot of products in my skincare routine to kind of combat that but yeah I'll do probably a skincare routine a little later on um, but then next I don't really prime my face honestly on a day to day I, I don't know I just don't I feel like I only really put primer if I'm like going out out and things like that but for day to day I don't really care for it but so I'm using currently the uh, soft matte longwear foundation by Fenty and I am in the color 280 so uh, this is it and honestly um, I used this a while back and then I stopped using it and just was I was using other things drugstore like elf um, more affordable options and stuff like that and I just recently found my way back to this foundation which is beautiful it's so good also something else i really really want to tell you guys about is this foundation brush that i got from target it's an eco tools foundation brush brush um just the way this brush is made like it's super thick all the fibers are fibers the brush is the fibers I don't know like it's really soft basically and they're the the um bristles the bristles are so close together and they're so soft that it just like creates this photo finish foundation it's just so pretty um and it, like it just blends the makeup so seamlessly you guys gotta get your hands on this honestly and I just feel like I'm able to buff out my foundation in seconds like takes me no time no effort boom I'm done so something I wanted to tell you guys and like share with you guys to like kind of get to know me a little better is you know why I decided to start this YouTube channel I mean I've always had the channel open and I had a few videos here um, 
because when I was in college, I actually studied digital media production at FSU, which was a kind of like a broadcasting journalism program. We learned how to edit videos. So I had the YouTube channel for my projects at school. You know, that's how we would post them on YouTube and then that's how you'd submit your work. <laughs> you know, that's how we would get graded. I've always been a pretty creative person. Like, th this is my passion to create videos and be in the digital entertainment world. So I've always wanted to kind of pursue social media influencing and like all that stuff, but I just was, I guess honestly, just like a little embarrassed and I just, you know, it was one of those things where you're like, oh, what are people going to think? People are going to judge me. My friends back at home in high school, they're going to make fun of me. And I'm just like, ah, I don't want to do it. But it just came to a point where, and it honestly took me moving to Texas. I currently live in Bryan College Station, and I am a local news reporter here. It took me, not even like me going on TV and like getting the job that I had, but more so like coming out to Texas and living on my own like I don't have any family here I came out here by myself for a job opportunity an amazing opportunity to learn and grow in you know the industry that I've wanted to be in for a long time and so it took me doing all that moving away from family and friends to realize like at the end of the day everybody's gonna do them and like if you have friends and if you have true friends and you are pursuing something, they're going to support you no matter what. And if they're not your true friends, then they're not going to support you. And then, I mean, at that point, like, do you even want them in your life? Like, who cares? You know, who cares what they say then if they're not even there to have your back? Why do I care what these people think? Um, and then going further, like, I mean, it took me to realize, like, okay, I can't care what people think, like, people who... I've been friends with or I know whatever whatever but also then people I don't know I'm like why do I even care about people who I don't even know like what their opinion is about me like the only thing that should matter is like you know my relationships with my family and honestly that's pretty much it like I or, and even that like I value my family's opinions and thoughts but at the end of the day like if I want to pursue something if I want to do something I'm gonna go for it and I know that they're gonna have my back and they're gonna support me at the end of the day yeah it really took a lot of that um to just realize you know what I need to go for it go for this and like go for it wholeheartedly just recently like started creating more content and just like doing the doing the damn thing you know so yeah no it's been a lot of fun and so I just kind of wanted to share a little bit of that because I just felt like I seemed like almost in a sense like oh one day you should just <laughs> should just start creating content like where did this come from and it's like it, yes and no like I feel like I just started but it's always low-key been like a passion of mine and like a, a little bit of a a dream I guess you could say not a dream like it's just a passion a passion of mine also it just kind of stems from like I love makeup I love fashion I love you know just all those girly things um and honestly I learned how to do my makeup on YouTube like from some of and I don't even want to say some of the bigger youtubers because some of those bigger youtubers I didn't even really watch. I think the only person probably like James Charles that I like watched a little bit of, but like I feel like I watched like some of the the smaller people and like I don't know, that's just how I learned watching them and I just thought it was so cool and cute. Um, but I just never thought it was something that I could do. Not that I couldn't do it, but um I was just like, who's gonna care? Who's gonna care about like me? doing my makeup or whatever who's gonna tune in and at this point too I'm just like I want I like I want people to tune in but it's like if they don't I'm having fun like honestly this is kind of fun for me <laughs> not kind of like this is fun for me and I enjoy like getting this set up and putting like my backdrop and like it's just all fun for me so I'm just having a lot of fun doing it and like I hope people are having fun just like watching the content that I'm creating um and you know if it's not for them then you know that's fine right now I'm just setting my concealer and stuff so 
that is what I'm doing. Um, and I, by the way, I use the NARS Creamy Concealer. I just recently got it, and it is a good one. I usually use the Sharp Tape, Sh Tarte Shape Tape, um, which is great, a great full coverage concealer. Uh, but yeah, currently just trying like a lot of new things. And um, yeah, NARS Cream and Concealer is really good. I really want to try the NARS Soft Matte Foundation, but apparently you can't get it in store, so I'm going to have to order that online eventually, someday. I have a passion for beauty, fashion, and lifestyle now. Um, honestly, I think the lifestyle happened most recently, kind of more during the pandemic, where a lot of people were posting about, you know, home decor and, and things like that, how they're styling their home their room because obviously people were home and like that was the content that people were producing and i just i i feel like i've always liked it like it's i've always pinned it on my pinterest like i always liked it but i think my a pa for a passion it became most recently when everybody was posting about it and seeing like what aesthetic i really like right now um i think obviously that's going to evolve always like your fashion is your everything you do in life you as a person you're gonna evolve and right now I really like that beige bohemian but modern at the same time kind of farmhouse vibe and I'm still kind of just trying to like distinguish what it is exactly because I'm maybe a little bit all over the place but I know just like the beigey brown tones like that's just like really what I just find it so beautiful so I just want to share that I just kind of put this MAC um, this is MAC Studio Powder Plus Foundation. I just kind of swept that all over my face, taking off the um, setting powder, which I use the Airspun Translucent Powder, um, used the suntan color. So I put that on and then swept it off with the MAC uh, foundation. Just kind of, I use the MAC foundation to swipe it off just because I don't really want that translucent powder to leave uh, overcast. So I just do that and then I go in with a little bit of bronzer. Currently right now I am using Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer. I'm just gonna go in with this KKW Beauty palette. Um, this is her Classic Blossom palette. I actually got this for Christmas last year from my uncle and I love it. It's honestly a go-to love these these are kind of like oh, my four favorite colors here and then if i'm trying to get a little spicy use those colors over there for the new year i think it's really more about just being more consistent i think um you know those are going to be my new year resolutions for this aspect of my life and this passion that I have is being more consistent with posting and creating content. I think right now it, I'm just try I'm like almost dipping my feet in the water and trying to get a grasp of like what my routine can be, especially within the work that I'm doing right now and reporting every day and working my normal nine to five. It's really trying to find a balance and I'm finding myself doing things on my days off, which you know, I, I get it, yeah, but you know, that's what I have to do right now. Um, it is a bit of a sacrifice. You know, if I genuinely enjoy it, then, you know, that's what I, I'm, I'm gonna have to do for a little bit and just kind of see where it takes me. I know I have, I'm Gemini, so, and I don't know if this is like a Gemini thing or what, I, I've read that it is, that I am a multi-passionate person, so I have a lot of things that I want to pursue in life and go after and, um, so that's kind of one of my downfalls is like I have a lot of things that I want to go after and so I'm kind of I need to hone in on what what those things are so I don't spread myself too thin currently right now I think it is really minimized it's you know I work and I want to do YouTube Instagram social media influencing on the side um, so I think for the new year it's more so getting a grasp on a routine of consistency of producing content and getting it out there and being committed to that routine and ensuring that you know i'm gonna set goals for myself and i need to accomplish them i do want to ask you guys you know what are some of the things that you guys want to see i do have some ideas you know some 
fashion videos. I, I love fashion, so being, getting the opportunity to show you guys some outfit inspiration, some makeup ideas, and skincare. Skincare is a big thing for me, as I mentioned that um, you know I have some issues with my acne, so I really try to focus on my skincare, and that's an every night and morning thing for me. So that is something I will definitely be sharing more of, but. You know what are some things you guys would like to see from me so definitely setting some goals for the new year i think is really important let me know what some of your new year resolutions are i want to hear them and maybe i can get inspired by some of your new year resolutions um i think besides that in this world of you know social media and in youtube i definitely want to get better with my physical health, um, having a better workout routine. I feel like I go to the gym, you know, here and there, but I need to be more consistent. My whole life routine from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, I need to hone in on my routine. And I feel like I've been trying to figure it out. Like I had one, um, I was working on the morning show for work for a little bit and I had a routine that I transitioned back to, you know, working through through the day and kind of my routine shifted but then my boyfriend moved in so then it kind of shifted again and so now I'm just trying to find a balance of just like really what works for me and um, little by little and then hopefully once I get that honed in I will be able to share that with you guys as well I basically just did my eyeshadow pretty quick which is nice um, I really just put like a base a nice base color which is really pretty light skin tone color and then I go in with like a darker color and just kind of put that on the um, crease of my eye and then I go in and I take a nice darker color a little bit of a more of a it's a dark brown honestly I put that on the right below my waterline and then I extend it so that it looks kind of like a little cat eye um, but yeah, so that's what I do for my eyes. Then I just go in with my eyelash curler. I've never used an eyelash curler until recently. I got this in a FabFitFun box that I received. I don't know which one. Um, if you want to learn more about FabFitFun, check out my video where I reviewed it at my one year anniversary of receiving them. Um, they always come with really good things like this. Like I've never really used one, but now I do not do my makeup without it. My boyfriend just moved out here to Texas with me. Uh, he lives in Florida. He lived in Florida, just where I was from as well, from Florida, born and raised. And um, he moved out here with me. And honestly, he's also been shout out to Finia. Um, he's been a huge supporter in me, kind of pursuing this. He's always been my biggest fan and just a motivator and like you know telling me to just go for it and like who cares what people think and things like that. So I love him and he's really great. He's. I tell him he's a great partner for this because he's always helping me take pictures and um, yeah, he's just a really good motivator. And not only for this, like for social media, honestly, it was for like my job. He helped me move out here to Texas and everything. So he's just been really great in supporting me in, in anything I do, which is really awesome to have in your partner. Makeup's looking good. Um, got to do the eyebrows, and I think that's going to be almost done. Else? For my eyebrows, cannot do it without the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Medium Brown. The go-to. Real good, real good. Um, we got to brush these babies up. Brush them up first, and then go for it, just because it, like, already creates what shape you want to draw in and I try to go in pretty light on my eyebrows just you know kind of more like of an outline on mine I really can't even tell you the last time I went to get my eyebrows done I get them threaded or like I 
used to get them threaded and um yeah I don't anymore <laughs> I don't do my eyebrows anymore like I if they're getting crazy like below or above I'll just pluck them and then I have like a little eyebrow scissors and I'll trim them myself but besides that like I don't get them done but she brows are in right now so that's a plus you know how much money you save by not going to get your eyebrows done every, you know, like how, how much do we even go? I don't even know how often I would go. But my high school photos are tragic. Like my eyebrows were crying. My best friend actually from like third grade, she um, recently sent me a photo that we have together from when we were in high school. And literally, I'm like, my forehead is huge. My eyebrows are crying. Like, what was I thinking? They needed Jesus. They really did. To top off the brows, we're just going to do Clear Gel by... Yeah. Clear Gel by Anastasia. This stuff is amazing, honestly. Do not... Like, sometimes when I go to the gym also... Um, to Orange Theory, like, I will go ahead and just put this on my brows, like, not, not even fold them in, but just put them on my brows to just, like, keep them in place, keep them in check. Um, they don't leave, like, a little white dust or anything like that. Um, yeah, so, really love that. And, honestly, my makeup is pretty much done. Like, this is what I do for every day. I think I'm gonna just put, like, a little bit of blush. NARS aroused and just put like a little bit. Love to put it on my nose. Give that sunburnt look. I love blush, but it's not really an everyday thing for me. I love to use it and I do think it makes a difference in your makeup, but I don't know. Just for every day, I don't really care to use it, but just went ahead and did it right now. But that is pretty much it. I feel like you guys got to know a little bit more about me and got to hear about some of my New Year's resolution goals, um, some goals I have for the New Year and, you know, things that I, I want to pursue. You know, also this video hopefully will keep me accountable for some of those things that I want to do. And, um, yeah, I just want to learn more about you guys as well so let me know down in the comments below some of your new year's resolutions some things that you want to pursue in the new year anything that you want to ask me about about my journey i'm going to link all of the products that i use down below so you can check them out and shop them there if you'd like um but yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and chatting getting ready with me um i'm gonna be producing more content and giving you guys a little bit more of an inside look at my life so if there's anything you guys want to see let me know um but for now i am out i'll see you guys in the next video bye